Hello and welcome to my channel. I thought I'd take some time out today to share my own personal life experiences for the intentions of being some sort of light to anyone who's going through a hard time, who's feeling d depressed and in a state of despair because of the times that we are now presently in. It's a very difficult time for a lot of people and a lot of people are having problems across the board, financially, um, in their relationships, um, watching their hopes and plans and dreams seem to fall apart. And a lot of people find it difficult and they're dealing with mental illness issues at the moment. And it seems to be a thing that is heightening every day. We are living in difficult times, but we are living in, in wonderful times as well. It doesn't feel that way right now for most people. And it is an extraordinary time that something could affect the whole of humanity simultaneously. This is definitely a first that we know of in known history. And so it's difficult to know where to go, who to turn to, because everybody is more or less in the same boat and the boat feel like it's going down. Humanity is going through the dark night of the soul. Collectively and a lot of people individually. And if you have never been through the dark night of your own soul and you find yourself there now, then perhaps me sharing with you my time of going through the dark night of the soul can be of some help. First of all, I want you to know that there is literally light at the end of the tunnel and that the day does dawn after the darkest hour of night. It is true. It is more than a cliche. It is a well-known saying because it is true. Just like spring does follow winter, things will get better for you. They will get better for you. But I'm not going to be one of those people who, well, like the saying, if you see a man who's starving, teach him how to fish, and then he'll never be hungry again. I remember contemplating on that when I was going through my dark night of the soul. And I remember thinking, well, if someone is hungry, wouldn't it be more uh, beneficial if you fed them first so they can gain strength and then teach them how to fish? So I'm going to do my level best with my heart in my hand to give you something that will nourish you, to strengthen you, to get through these times. I also want you to know I understand. Oh, believe me, I understand. I understand how it feels to wake up with an aching heart every day and go through the whole day with it. And feeling confused, feeling lost, feeling hopeless and powerless, not knowing who to turn to or even what to turn to. I understand you're probably feeling you don't know what to believe in anymore. You don't know what to trust anymore. And worse still, 
you find it difficult to even trust yourself to make a decision and a right one. It is a very scary time because it's so filled with uncertainty. And somehow or another, it just feels like if it all can just come to an end now, then I won't have to deal with any of these things. Hence, suicidal thoughts. However, you can get past all of these things. And when you get past all of these things, you will realize how strong and magnificent of a being you truly are. Now, if someone would have told me that when I was in the midst of it, I probably would have gave a half smile. But it would have been difficult for me to really relate to what they were saying. So if you can't relate to what I'm saying, I understand that. But I would encourage you, if you do find yourself in the midst of your dark night, give me a moment and listen. As much as you possibly can, try to prepare yourself to have everything that you believed turn upside down. Your belief in the world that you're in, the, your belief in your values, how you view yourself, how you view God, how you view love, what is life all about, all of that is going to be turned upside down. And it's a very hard one. Especially since all of those things we would have literally lived our lives upon and would have followed them. Some of those things are good and they will last. But a lot of the stuff that we have picked up along the way wasn't really beneficial or serving us in divine perfect idea for us. And it's time for us to let it go. There are a lot of misunderstandings about the Divine Creator that we all have been subjected to by society, by our families, and by whatever religion in which we would have catered to. Every religion has truth but the truth is like wheat amongst the tares in a field. There is a lot of untruth in the text, which has caused us to be afraid and uncertain. Now we could be strong-willed and kind of get over it, but it's good to question. It is always good to question what you believe and to ask yourself why you believe it. Does it ring true to your own heart? Or is it something that is well known and you just took it on because the preacher said it, the rabbi said it, the guru said it, your parents said it? is the expectations of society, so on and so forth. When all of that is stripped away, what will be left is the real truth. Because you will find out that it is the truth that actually surpasses time and space. And that truth was always deep inside of you. This stripping away of our thoughts and ideas and belief systems is actually a cleansing process. That is what the deep night of the soul is all about. It's not something to punish you. It's not because God is angry with you or you did something terribly wrong. 
the divine source of all things loves you unconditionally. But we need to be cleansed. We need to be purified. And this is what it brings. It brings us to focus on the things that we need to let go of. You will find that there will be things that will pop up in your mind that happened perhaps years ago that you thought you had let go, you had got over it. But then here it is again. How I dealt with that is because how I dealt with it is when something will pop up in my mind, I didn't dismiss it. I sat down and I looked at it. And I said to myself, well, obviously I didn't deal with that. I just merely put it on the shelf. But here it is again. This is life saying to you, it's time to deal with this. It's time to heal. It's time to let it go. It's time to forgive yourself. It's time to forgive whoever was involved. It's a time of cleansing. Of cleansing. Cleansing yourself of all the false things, all the residue from past experiences that did not occur out of creation of love and respect and regard for you. One of the ways that's good to handle this is to keep a pen and paper next to your side. Write it down. You don't have to force yourself to get over it right quick. Sometimes it requires feeling that pain or that confusion or whatever it is. It's not always bad things either. Sometimes good things can come up. Again, just don't smile and say, okay. Because those th good things are the things that nourish your soul. And it's the way your higher self the divine within you saying, look, these are good things. These things gave you the strength to get through your life. Build on these things. The divine source of all things don't look at things necessarily through the lens of good or bad. It looks at whether something is good for you. Does it nurture you or it doesn't? That is the way love views everything. That is the way love views you. It would say, John, Mary, is this beneficial for you? Is this thought, this idea, this ideology, this belief, this activity, this habit, this way of living, is it good for you? Is it really benefiting you? Is it making you stronger? Does it really give you peace and contentment in your heart? Does it bring peace to your mind? Is it affecting you in a positive way? Is it having a great benefit on your relationship with other people? Let's have a look at it. And this is what going through the dark night of the soul is really about. Because if we don't cleanse ourselves, if we don't have something that would literally force us to look at ourselves, we will always continue to look outside of ourselves. But all the things outside of ourselves isn't where truth lies. It isn't where eternal love lies. It isn't where eternal life lies. That lie within ourselves. If you strip down all of the holy texts in the world throughout the ages, 
They all said that the divine truth, love and light is within ourselves. That is the basis of all of their teachings. All the rest of it was things that people put into the stories as time went by. But in this time of a stripping away of that which no longer serves, because it has gotten to the point where it has caused an imbalance in yourself and an imbalance in the collective, because the divine loves us so much, he's cleaning house. He's cleaning the house in the rooms of your heart and of your mind. He's cleaning house in the institutions of humanity. This is what's going on. And the wonderful thing is, if you will surrender to the cleansing process, if you will trust the cleansing process, even if it's just the past, even if you can just get to the point where I said, well, you know what, I give it a go. I have nothing to lose here. And surrender to it, the cleansing process. You will find that not only will you get past this, but you will be stronger and greater than you ever imagined you could be. And in ways you've never known that you had it in you. Dealing with some of the day-to-day -day things. When one is in a low state, it's like your mind is tuned into the worst radio station broadcasting. Thoughts will come to mind that will be anywhere from totally depressing or really, really crazy. There's loads of thoughts in the atmosphere. But they're not necessarily thoughts that are coming from you. It's just something that you happen to be tuned into. So when you get crazy thoughts come to your mind, don't necessarily, don't take like that thought came from me. Look at it and say, Did I, is, is that a thought coming out of me? Or is it something that I attracted that just kind of popped into my head? Even in that process, you become more self-aware of your own thoughts, your own feelings. And if it's coming from within you, then you say, right, this is something that I have to deal with. This is not good for me if it's a negative thought. So I would say, no, thank you. I can live without that. That is not me. That is not who I am. That is not how I was made. That is not how I was created. And then you put your mind squarely on something that gives you joy and peace inside yourself. I did that. And trust me, if you make a habit of doing that, then after a while, those crazy thoughts would get less and less and less. And then one day, you will realize you haven't had any of those thoughts in a long time. The dark night of the soul is about cleansing but it's also about becoming self-aware. Aware of what you're thinking. Aware of how you're feeling. Aware of your relationship to yourself. Aware of your relationship to the divine within yourself. In your process of self-awareness, It's important for you to be honest. 
Honesty is the way to the light. To be honest with yourself, what you really feel, what you really think inside. Sometimes, well, actually, probably more often than not, people are not honest with themselves. We have a tendency to tell ourselves all sorts of lies. And it's not done intentionally, but we want to like ourselves. We want to feel good about ourselves. And so sometimes that requires us not being honest. But honesty is so important. Because if you're not honest with yourself, then you're never really truly dealing with how you really feel and what you really think. I find that talking to the divine and being honest about what I think and what I feel helped me tremendously. It was a tremendous self discovery time for me. There were things that came out of me that I never knew was lurking behind the closet because I was so busy and so transfixed in being a good girl. And also because I didn't want to disappoint God and not being a good girl. But what I found out in my process, the dark night of my soul, when I started to be honest about who I am and what I feel about any given subject and talking to the divine within me, I found that divinity loves me so much and never judged me for anything I thought or felt. The divine in us love us that much. It's not judging us against some kind of barometer of right and wrong. The divine source is not interested in us being a good girl or a good boy. It only wants us to be happy, to have inner peace, to be in harmony, to be free, carefree. It loves us. And it, it is that the divine I found when I went through my process is that loving father who provides and protects me always and who hears my call no matter where I am. He shows up and he's there. And I also find that divinity is that loving mother who holds me close to her heart and nurtures me and comforts me no matter what I've done, no matter what I've said. I am her child and she loves me always. I found that divinity, the source of all creation is our loving mother, our loving father. In fact, it is literally all things. And it wants to express the wonder and the goodness of all things that it is to us because it created it for us. 
so you can be open and honest with the divine. Let the divine be your counselor, your psychologist. It knows you better than you ever will know yourself. And it knows exactly what you need to be healed, to be perfect again, to be happy. It knows. The knowledge is already here for you. The answers are already here for you. You just simply have to ask for it and ask the questions. You are not on your own. You are never on your own. You have something that is the all-powerful might of all things with you right now. If you need to be carried, let it carry you. If you need your hand to be held, let it hold your hand. If you need a hug, let it hug you. If you need to be fed, let it feed you. If you need to be protected, let it protect you. If you need to understand, listen to its wisdom. Well, I hope this has been a help to you. And I pray loving blessings light up through you like a beacon in that night and nurture every atom of your whole entire being just like it was created to do. And I pray that the joy that leaps up inside of you, which it will happen, ripples through all space and time. Good day.